what we're looking at here is a glue lamb roof hip. This is a glue lamb beam that is a structural component for the roof framing system. And um, I wanted to point something out here. Architects and engineers, the architect might draw something. Then they send it to the engineer. I'm sorry, that's really, that's exactly how the process works. The engineer is not going to draw the house and then send it to the architect. The architect draws the house, the basic design, and then sends it to the engineer. And the engineer puts all of the structural components, all the beam sizes, rafter sizes, floor joists, um, headers, beams, you name it into the plans and then the architect is supposed to look at the um, changes um, that the engineer made on the plans and see if it affected any of the home and this is a good example of what I'm talking about the engineer draws this massive glue lamb beam in um, to the house and the architect missed it they didn't take a they didn't realize that the corner of the beam was going to be sitting um, sticking through the ceiling now the black arrow is pointing to the beam and the white arrows are pointing to the ceiling line now the ceiling is flat so in three corners of the house one of the corners actually worked out different because they changed the um, Chained, it was in the front corner and uh, it didn't um, work out the same way as the other three corners of the house. But you are going to have three corners of the house that are going to have a protrusion like this um, sticking down in the corner. And it might not be a big deal, you know. But the reason why I'm making the video is just to point out that stuff like this happens. The architect draws it, the engineer puts their things together and the contractor bids the job and if either one of them aren't uh, if they miss this then um, you're not going to see it until it's built and I can't tell you how many times things like these happen um, so I just wanted to make a video and point this out to you this is one of those um, things that the architect kind of um, messed up on the architect should have um, verify this was going to be a problem and how do I know the architect missed this because there wasn't even a detail for it from the engineer or the architect so I honestly think neither one of them um, got it here it was up to the contractor to figure out what to do